parasitic wasps use other insects as hosts for their larvae. This is Ketesia congregata, part of the large family Braconidae, consisting of tens of thousands of species. And it is searching for a caterpillar to inject its eggs into. A suitable host is discovered. Over a hundred eggs may be injected into the caterpillar. The caterpillar is not completely defenseless. Parasitoids must protect their eggs against the host immune system. Many Braconids do this by injecting a symbiotic polygnovirus during oviposition. This virus has co-evolved with Braconids for about 100 million years and is integrated into the wasp genome. Upon entering the host, it does not replicate, but instead uses the host's own cellular machinery to produce gene products that interfere with the immune and endocrine systems. One function is to prevent immune cells, called hemocytes, from bonding to the wasp's eggs. Polygnoviruses in Braconids, called brachoviruses, consist of multiple nucleocapsids, each about 40 nanometers in diameter and containing genes of wasp origin. These are in a protein matrix within viral envelopes. Polygnovirus particles are only produced in the calyx, a part of the wasp's reproductive system. The eggs are coated as they pass through the calyx before oviposition. The larvae live inside the caterpillar as it grows, surrounded by a constant food source until they chew their way out. Even though this caterpillar is still alive, it will eventually starve or succumb to a secondary infection. Parasitic wasps are in an evolutionary arms race against their hosts. Insect immune systems have evolved to defend against parasitoid eggs. Foreign objects are attacked by hemocytes, which produce melanin to cover wasp eggs. If a wasp parasitizes a host without a functional polygnovirus, the eggs are encapsulated and killed. And the caterpillar lives, for now. This could be a factor driving parasitic wasp specialization. Polygnovirus function and evolution continues to be an active area of study.